I like sports, and swimming is my favorite. Doing physical exercises keeps one fit and healthy and helps one work more efficiently. I think we all need to strike a balance between work and relaxation. This can keep us energetic and help us do our job. Some foreigners with full bellies and nothing better to do engage in finger pointing at us. First, China does not export revolution, second, it does not export famine and poverty, and third, it does not mess around with you. So what else is there to say? The Chinese people are a great people, they are industrious and brave, and they never pause in pursuit of progress. We must uphold the fighting of tigers and flies at the same time, resolutely investigating law-breaking cases of leading officials and also earnestly resolving the unhealthy tendencies and corruption problems which happen all around people. Friends from the press, China needs to learn more about the world, and the world also needs to learn more about China, between China and the countries of the world. China will always remain the builder of world peace a contributor to global development, and upholder of international order. We will never allow anyone, any organization, or any political party, at any time or in any form, to separate any part of Chinese territory from China. During the civilization and development process of more than 5,000 years, the Chinese nation has made an indelible contribution to the civilization and advancement of mankind. Our responsibility is to rally and lead the whole party and the Chinese people of all ethnic groups, take up this historic baton and continue working hard for the great renewal of the Chinese nation, so that we will stand rock firm in the family of nations and make fresh and greater During the long process of history, by relying on our own diligence, courage and wisdom, Chinese people have opened up a good and beautiful home where all ethnic groups live in harmony. Only by observing the laws of nature can mankind avoid costly blunders in its exploitation. Any harm we inflict on nature will eventually return to haunt us. This is a reality we have to face. What we now face is the contradiction between unbalanced and inadequate development and the people's ever-growing needs for a better life. It is true that some people have some misgivings about China-UK cooperation. What I want to stress is that in today's world, no country can afford to pursue development with its door closed. One should open the door, warmly welcome friends, and be hospitable to them.